Next clip's a little interesting because you have Donald Trump fact-checking the fact-checkers in terms of crime. Moderator David Muir saying violent crime is down, according to FBI. Trump saying that report is a fraud. Then there's the back and forth as to who is the real threat to democracy and whether or not that kind of rhetoric is dangerous. Let's see how this played out. Crime here is up and through the roof. Despite their fraudulent statements that they made, crime in this country is through the roof. As you know, the FBI says overall violent crime is actually coming down in this country. But Vice excuse President me, the Harris, FBI defraud. The- they were defrauding statements. They they didn't include the worst cities. They didn't include the cities with the worst crime. It was a, a fraud, just like their number of eight hundred and eighteen thousand jobs that they said they created turned out to be a fraud. President Trump, thank you. I'll let you respond, Vice President Harris. Well, I think this is so rich <laughs> coming from someone who has been prosecuted yeah. for national security crimes, economic crimes, election interference, has been found liable for sexual assault, and his next big court appearance is in November at his own criminal sentencing. The former vice president called for defunding federal law enforcement, 45,000 agents, get this, on the day after he was arraigned on 34 felony counts. Excuse me, every one of those cases was started by them against their political opponent. And I'm winning most of them, and I will win the rest on appeal. They're the ones that made them go after me. By the way, Joe Biden was found essentially guilty on the documents case. And what happened in my documents case? They said, oh, that's the toughest of them all. A complete and total victory. Two months ago, it was thrown out. I probably took a bullet to the head because of the things that they say about me. They talk about democracy. I'm a threat to democracy. They're the threat to democracy with a fake Russia, Russia, Russia investigation that went nowhere. Trump turning it around in the end there saying that uh, he's not the threat to democracy. Democrats are the threat to democracy. And they're perhaps the reason why someone tried to assassinate him. You know, if, if we're talking about like the rhetoric you know, the heated rhetoric, the rise in temperature of, the, of, the, of our political rhetoric uh, is what's causing uh, these political violent, uh, violence to happen. Um, wouldn't it make sense to be like, I'm not the threat to democracy, and I don't think they're a threat to democracy either. I think we need to bring the temperature down, like, instead of just going, not me, them. They, you know what I mean? Like, I, I, I'm seeing like... I think I think <sighs> that would have looked much better on his part. Um, especially to make up for some of the more um, immature things that were said earlier. Um, I think, yeah, missed opportunity there, I feel. I think it's a wrong avenue for the for the Republicans. I think they really, if they are serious about trying to, uh, because, like, let's get the, it real here. Someone tried to take his life, you know? This is, this actually could work. I mean, I hate to just sound like an inhuman person, but let's talk about this politically. Like, he he's definitely wants to use it to his advantage, and I think it can be used to his advantage. The only problem is he's still heating up the rhetoric. Like this is a perfect example. Any time that someone brings this to the Republicans, a Republican just needs to say, listen, like we need to bring down the temperature. Like, but instead they're like, Democrats are evil. Democrats are a threat. Like, so I, I don't see them trying to bring down the temperature. I don't see some Democrats trying to bring down the temperature either. Although I, I have seen tweets from Barack Obama, Joe Biden, Kamala Harris after the assassination attempt, and and they were trying to bring the, the temperature down. So, but let's talk about the fact checkers real quick. Because Trump fact checking the fact checkers. Now, was this fact checking too far? I mean, I think I wouldn't have looked into it too much if they were if he didn't say something in response. But I, I do feel like that's something Kamala could have said. I, I, I think, um, it would have been better. It kind of supported her argument. So maybe it was too far because, um, I mean, it's kind of obvious that it's an exaggeration. He said through the roof, um, and then they brought that up. So, but I, 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 I think it would have been better if. Kamala Harris said that. Um, And I was looking, apparently, the Department of Justice released a report saying that crime was actually higher in 2024 um, on Thursday, I believe, Um, which is like, it raised the question, like, are the fact checkers um, handpicking facts, Um, um, which is, I think, why they're getting um, a lot of hate for, like, 
when they decided to interrupt and fact check because if what they're fact checking is actually wrong then like it kind they kind of lose credibility there I think rightly so. Like, I, I think you're, you're dead on about this. I think they lose all credibility here. Anyone that was on the fence, simply because this fact that they're interjecting here is not the strongest fact in the world because Trump is right. Like, in that study, in, the F, in that FBI report, they're missing like a quarter of national agencies, including the New York Police Department, including the Los Angeles Police Department. Now, you could say, oh, okay, violent crime is actually increased in L.A., but it's actually decreased in New York. So maybe they kind of like even even it out. So it doesn't even matter. But it doesn't matter. Like the, the study is flawed no matter how you look at it. So ABC really trying to nail that in there compromises every fact check that every other fact check that happens in the debate. Yeah, I, I agree. And we are talking about how um, loss of credibility earlier on too with the candidates. But I... I don't think this is a good look for them. And I think it was like unnecessary for them to interrupt. Um, and it, it's biased at the end of the day. I just feel like, uh, I, I wonder if um, Kamala Harris had some, said something similar, would they have fact-checked her? Yeah, like like I said, like this is one of those things where I, I don't think they should be fact-checking half-truths. I was just going to say that he, he, it's not like he cited a specific fact. Like, it's not like he said, yeah, like it's up by this percent. He didn't say that. He said it's through the roof. I don't think they should be fact-checking that. I think they should be fact-checking, like, in case he quoted it wrong or something, say it was, like, say something was 11% instead of 12%. They should correct that. I don't think... Like 21% inflation. Yeah, yeah. He's, that's, that's like, yeah, maybe maybe fact-check that. 21 million immigrant uh, legal immigrants coming in monthly. Maybe we can fact-check that. But yeah. this study is flawed. Like, yeah. so it does look like there's a concerted uh, bias against Trump and the Republicans here. Yeah. Because w all it takes is one time. All it takes for one thing to be wrong. And suddenly the people that are on the fence dismiss you and they go, well, the Democrats are just as bad. ABC is yeah. just as bad as Fox News. You know what I, I mean? I think for Kamala Harris, I, I think she was probably not thrilled about that because then it makes people go, oh, like, I kind of feel bad for Republicans or they, they want to believe Trump a bit more because he was fact check on something that was not actually wrong or like he had to fact check the fact checkers. I think um, it makes him look better and in turn her look worse. So it's like they're they're treating them like children. Let them fact check each other. Yeah. You know, just let them do it. Let's see how they operate. Like misquoted statistics like unless it's 100 percent accurate and like it's the same exact fact that you're fact checking i don't think they need to be like bringing in other studies especially ones that are wrong